Hi, I'm John Kennedy. During my 46 year career as a PGA professional, I've seen very few training aids that make a lasting difference. The Rotex machines make a lasting difference, all in about three minutes a day. I stopped playing golf five years ago due to spinal restrictions. Since using Rotex, I can now play and practice regularly and noticed an improvement in both consistency and power. I've noticed the same difference in my students and because of the small time commitment, they use their Rotex regularly and consistently improve. Let me introduce you to the inventor of Rotex, Dr. Joe Lacaz. Hi, I'm Joe Lacaz. Using the same method we've used for 10 years to resolve complex issues of the body, we've discovered PGA golf professionals can quickly and effectively change or develop new motor learning programs. This is a simple process of locking your students into a position where only the correct movement may be performed against the strong resistance of Rotex, creating and reinforcing deep-seated motor learning programs. My name is Tom Henderson. I'm the golf professional at the Round Hill Club in Greenwich, Connecticut, and I'm here with one of our students. My issue that I cannot um, fix is that I'm always arms that I don't swing. I use my arms because that's what I use. I do, you do use your body in tennis, but mm -hmm. it seems like it's more arms. You turn your hips in as far as you can. Good. Now rotate your upper body. There you go. And relax. And do it again. And relax. Okay, now take off the tension of your hips and do it again. And feel that hip, how it rotates. There you go. And relax and do it again. There you go. Things I noticed with Regina was when she was hitting golf balls at the start here, how this back leg kind of locked up and this kind of froze. When she was over here on the Rotex doing her exercise with the club and with her arms across her chest, I could see her load into her right side and she maintained a little bit of that flex in the back back uh, leg and, and also instead of the club working up the club was right on plane. Now this would be key for this is what I think is for you right now. Get in golf posture doing the same thing and this would be my through swing mm -hmm. and this is pretty much where I want you to be mm -hmm. as opposed to where you I just showed you through yes. Yeah. I have a tendency to, to, to end up back here, so I work with this pro in the cape. And he's getting me doing all these drill, drills to exaggerate. He's got me hitting balls like this, so I fo follow through. But I'll tend to get back here. Any good, that one? Yeah. The, the one you hit just before that looked like a dandy. Well, you know what? Bro, if nothing else, I mean, the, the ball play is, got to, is probably 100% or 75% higher. Yeah. Wow. That one had the sound. Locked in, right? And, and for me, it was like an enlightenment that I felt something that I knew I wanted to feel and that I don't feel. And I think a golf pro first, if he has it in his hand and he feels that, just what I just did, mm -hmm. he's gonna say, wow, that is something. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to change motor programming, right? That's what you guys are trying to do. So when I'm doing this, I feel like if you, if you do this repetitively for something like the golf swing, it's going to basically automatically set up your motor programming the way you want it. You're going to get your your entire swing working the right way because each each part of the body is automatically getting fired the way it should be fired. All right, Mr. Kramer, could you go ahead and do the exercise? Yeah, perfect. To avoid injury, 
and to achieve desired shoulder tilt in the golf swing, the muscles that stabilize the ribs, spine, and shoulders must be strong and active. Using the latest diagnostic ultrasound technology, this particular Rotex handheld exercise shows a most excellent full contraction of important side bending muscles. So here you've got a rib, and then this is the serratus anterior muscle here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and do the exercise, and look how much it contracts. It yes. doubles in size, and then relax. So that's a huge contraction of the serratus. Do that again. And this is the rib moving down, the muscles doubling. It's contracting so it shortens and thickens on ultrasound. Now you can relax. These are our Rotex FS floor models. They provide a strong rotational resistance in all planes of motion. I'm going to be demonstrating an exercise we call full body rotation. It's for full torso rotation and also hip rotation. When I first started this exercise about two years ago, this is the maximum back swing rotation I had, and this is the maximum through swing rotation I had. So the way we set up for this exercise is we put ourselves in a position where uh, slanted inward where we can't really sway back during the back swing or lift up in the back swing. And then we turn our torso as far as we can. Once we have that there, we keep our torso where, where it is. And then we rotate the trail hip against the isometric contraction of our torso. When we release, the body allows the torso to turn that much further. And we just keep on repeating that process five times until we have reached maximum torso turn and hip turn. So obviously we would have done the through swing as well, but from starting from a position where two years ago I could only turn this much, now I can turn this much. And from here to here. This is an excellent exercise for rotational injury prevention in the golf swing and just in general life. This is our Rotex FSA handheld model. It also provides strong resistance to rotation in any plane of movement. One clinical exercise we do with the Rotex handheld is for stability and release of the rib cage, shoulder, neck, and spine. From this clinical exercise, we discovered by simply repositioning the handheld on the wall, we had an exercise where PGA professionals could teach their students to immediately feel, learn, and wire together important parts of the backswing and the through swing. Here's a short demonstration of the backswing. Position the handheld correctly in the right position on the wall and then move into the backswing and all we have to do is instruct the student on one body part and how to move that body part and the other parts of the body will automatically fall into the right positions and here's the position for the downswing and just an example if the PGA professional wants the student to pay attention to the shoulder blade rotating underneath the shoulder joint. A beginner, intermediate, or advanced player will automatically be able to do that, and then the other parts of their body will fall into the right positions automatically. Thank you for watching and for your interest. You've just seen a few examples of the many we've developed with Rotex over the past 10 years. I look forward to any questions you have about how we are simply quickly and efficiently changing motor learning programs. Also, upon request, we will provide a PGA discount code.